Hi everybody, I thought I'd just quickly talk you guys through how to edit down your um, rushes for this week, okay? So how to take the raw footage that you filmed, the rushes, and edit them into uh, like what would be um, a pop buzz guide video, okay? So I've given, uh, I've created a couple of templates to help you do that, but first things first, you will need to organize all of the footage that may be on various different mobile phones, um, various different forms of media, and you'll need to put it into one centralized place that can be shared with every single person in your group so that you can work with it. Now, my biggest recommendation for doing this is to use your Office 365 OneDrive um, that you've got with your um, Global Academies um, login. Just use your email to log into Office 365, and you will get um, an area which you can visit here called OneDrive. In OneDrive, you can create a folder. Um, very simple, click New and Folder, and create a folder. Um, I've made one here called Pop Buzz Rushes. Now, once I've, um, you can then drag and drop your uh, video files into here. Um, if you need to download them from your iPhone, you could log into your iCloud account and download them, then upload them into OneDrive like this. So you end up with a folder uh, like this, um, which I would label Pop Buzz Rushes, because Rushes is the technical term for raw, sort of unedited footage, footage that looks a little bit like this. And um, you will then need to um, make sure that that folder is shared with everyone in your group. In order to do that, the easiest way is to go to the folder you want to share, click on the um, three dots over there, click the share option, and then pick two people in your group. So if I was in a group with Eric and Chantel, I might pick those two, and then I would um, use the uh, message function here to tell them what I'm sending them. Say so this is the folder of uh, rushes for poppers. That will then allow each individual in that group to do an individual edit, okay? You can also copy the link to that and just email it or send it out to people. Um, but otherwise, type in the names here of everyone in your group, click the send button, uh, and then it will send them a link to this folder. Once they have a link to this folder, they have access to everything that's in the folder, okay? So once you um, get a shared link from somebody in your group and you've got a link to a OneDrive folder, um, you will then need to, before you start editing, you will then need to download that folder to somewhere safe in your documents on the computer that you're working in. So don't save it to the downloads because the downloads may move. It's very important that you save this to your documents, okay? So download the folder and save it to your documents. Um, you may also wish to uh, create a a folder in your documents to put all of this um, at the assets for your pop buzz quiz. So you could equally uh, make a document that allows you to do that, okay? Um, so I'm just downloading the uh, rushes from my OneDrive at the moment, okay? And that will go in there. I then need to find that, so the best way to do it is probably search uh, OneDrive usually will then come up with all of my OneDrive folders, okay? And I can find the one that I've just downloaded. Um, so yeah, it'll be this one here. So with the uh, folder that you're looking for, because it is a zipped folder, it's got a zip on it, you need to make sure that you extract all before you can use it. Um, this is a good opportunity for you to now create a, a new folder Call it um, Pop Buzz Assets, so that you save all your assets in there. You can then add any graphics or anything else that you want to put in there. Any music that you might want to download can go in there as well. So you can make a folder called Pop Buzz Assets. Click Extract. It will then extract your uh, OneDrive folder with all of the footage inside it to your to another folder in your documents. Make sure you have got that folder on your computer, otherwise it will be very difficult to edit with. So, while that's doing that, I'm going to open uh, Premiere Pro. So I've arranged, I've logged all my footage, I've arranged all my assets into a folder. Um, I've called it 
PopBuzz Assets, and then within the PopBuzz Assets folder, there will be another folder called PopBuzz Rushes. Those are all very good and can be used uh, when I open Premiere Pro. Now, I have provided for you um, some assets for you to already use in Premiere Pro. So if you go to the Canvas course for um, PopBuzz and Enterprise, which you will find from your dashboard, if you click on here, you'll see on the home page it's got guidance to what you're doing each week. Uh, but yes, under Files, I've made this uh, zip folder here called um, Premiere Pro uh, Templates. So if you click on that and then click on this, it will allow you to download that um, compressed folder. Once again, this compressed folder is a zip file. So in order to actually work with it, you will once again need to click Extract All. I've already created a folder called PopBuzz Assets. Um, and I can use that as the destination for um, this uh, zipped folder to be extracted to. And that will give me all of my PopBuzz Premiere Pro templates, okay? The end result, before I start working then, is that in my documents under folders, I should have all the stuff that I need organized into a kind of a folder called Pop Buzz Assets that I can now use to find everything that I ever need, okay? So, the folder that I've made for you that is available for you in files on um, Canvas is, uh, looks like this. And you have two different templates, a TikTok template and a YouTube template. The TikTok template has a um, sequence or a timeline set to kind of uh, the portrait mode. And the YouTube one has one set to landscape they also both have graphics in and those graphics are made up of some of these things okay so you've got a frame you've got a pop buzz guide uh, title another title you've got a stacked white global academy logo so all of those things you can use um not to say you can't use more you can add stuff to this or or whatever but i thought it would be good to give you these templates and when you load this template it should load in premiere pro much like um it's doing now for me Okay, so I'm just opening the TikTok template and the TikTok template should have a um, sequence that is set to, okay, this is about my audio configuration, um, audio preferences, no, I don't need to open my audio preferences, um, should be okay. Now, one of the things that I do like to do in Premiere Pro is look at the workspaces. So at the moment it's set for effects, but actually I want to go into editing mode. So if I set it to editing mode, then we can see what we've got. So over here, you have your um, you have your timeline or um, sequence, as it's called. Uh, all of the sequence settings are under the sequence menu. Um, but the most important thing is that you make sure your sequence settings are the right format. Now, what I've done with these templates is I've created a simple pop buzz frame graphic, which is on this slide. Um, sorry, the frame is on this slide. It's just a rectangle. Um, and I've also created uh, the pop buzz guide logo. So you can use this if you like uh, in a way to sort of insert your footage underneath. Um, you can insert music, you can insert video here. So if you go to File, uh, Import, you then need to go back to your Pop Buzz Assets folder where you've just unzipped all your rushes. You then need to pick a clip to put into your film. So you, you can um, select your clips here, click Open, and they should then load uh, into the um, editing window, okay? Um, if you go to workspaces, click all panels, um, then you should be able to see all the different panels. Okay, so right here, I've now just inserted these clips. Now, all of these clips are actually in um, the wrong way around because this is my TikTok template, okay? So what I'm looking for is the um, actual portrait stuff. So I'm gonna delete all those clips because I'm not gonna work with them and I'm gonna try and import the clips that I need. One way that you can actually see what clips you're using is to go to this view and then view them as icons. It then usually gives you kind of little previews, so it makes it a lot easier. So I can now literally just get all of my 
clips that I filmed in Portrait, open them, and then I can use them to kind of edit with, okay? So, once I've decided, if you double click on a, on a clip, okay, let's go back to my editing format, editing window, okay. Okay, so, got all my bits and bobs here. Um, you can see with Premiere Pro, Window gives you a lot of different workspace options, okay? So you may wish to um, familiarize yourself with what they look like so that you can work in the best way that you find. Um, generally speaking, I'll probably find all panels is a good view. Um, it shows you sort of everything that you ever need. Um, so this window here is what's playing on the screen. This window over here is your clips. And if I double click on a clip, it then comes up in a viewer. I can then select the bit that I actually want to use. So if it's from, if it's from this point, if I press I, I get an in point. So this point, press O, get an O point out point and drag it into the um, frame you'll see how the frame works with the video footage okay and you can use that to sort of help you build your project up if you want this frame to last longer because you're going to put other clips in here and let's say I double click on another clip um, here and I'm going to use this clip uh, there you go and I go from this point that's my in point all the way to this point that's my out point drag it down um, stick that to that and then I need to make my frame longer I can like pull that out a bit longer there is a transition where it disappears as well so you'll have to just work around how you want to manipulate those graphics to make them come and go there is a further video on how to manipulate graphics more but obviously use the um, templates to, to edit your footage together um, and um, all of the assets will be in there and ready for you to play around with in addition to the um, there is another guide as well that goes into a little bit more depth as to how those graphics are made to move on the screen and transitions in and out. Okay, but that is your basic getting started and using these editing templates for your Pop Buzz project.